Hey there, welcome back tonight. I'm Suffer of Let's Surf Together back in the mountains, my friends. And today we're gonna have a little wander, just a little quick wander. We've got some specialist stuff together nice black hole with increased time up speed, some uh, very dangerous spells, some damage. We're gonna have a nice little wander to locate, show you the location, and some practical tips on how to. You know, defeat all the mini bosses and bosses in the game. Just a nice little wonder, you know. We've got given ourselves extra lives, we've got saving grace, we've got a lot of immunities. Don't have all of them. I've given myself as much as a can be bothered to give me. We do, however, have the regular starting bomb wand with just chainsaw on them. And you'll be surprised how far this can take you. When you're concerning yourself with the first we're going to look at today the pyramid mini boss this actual doorway yeah we'll take this off for the meantime can't be shot with conventional means you're going to need to blow it up um you could use bubble spark to slowly get through here but you know and you can't use traditional like spark bolts so ah but we've given ourselves some very nice fast firing ones just to show locations and a few practical tips and anything that comes to mind while we're doing it. This is, you know, a bit of a celebration today. We've reached 5,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel, so I thought do something different. It'll smell a little bit helpful, you know, for your journey on Noita. And just have a bit of fun with the uh, Omega Saw Blade. So which enemies are we going to find today? I wonder. In here, you get a multitude of enemies in here that just chill around. You get flies, you get... Ah, shocky dudes now, these little shocky skulls. They still spew bubbles even though they'll electrically shock you. There's also... Where are you? Where are you? This little mage that will stop you firing your wand. Yeah, it's like a misfire. I can't shoot anymore, you see. For about 13 seconds. Can't even chainsaw. I like the effect. It's a really nice effect. The little kind of... Or this mini boss. Ah, a little fly as well. It's fine. You see how fast I'm firing? Now I'll give you some indication without any modifiers. We'll see if can chainsaw it as well. You uh, uh, used to be able to, in early access, set this dude on fire. And as long as you set him on fire twice, you can kill him. But you just get close to him, activate the fire. His minions do 20 damage per shot. So you really need to be careful of those. And you can see just from that, they take a bit of a hefty chunk. And... But their shots are semi-avoidable. He does spew out more and more, though, so... It's up to yourself in your own, you know, how you feel. But you want to get to the side of him. Get to the side. You can't attack him from, you know, a top even when he's open, really. Can we... Get him... You can get him with the chainsaw and do that. He'll take minimal damage. He can hit you with his legs, but all you need is, you know, a fast firing wand or to be able to do the damage from the side, you know, and watch out for those ads and get in there quick before his legs pop you. You get three spells, extra HP, you know, you get the uh, add exploration trigger, add timer, add trigger, a nice little wand. Hey, a damage field, okay, because against... The pit boss, and we'll get to that. I was going to use Omega Saw Blade because, well, there's a feature of the pit boss that is very interesting. On our, on your journey against certain bosses, you'll want to make sure you've got some Ambrosia, you know? Pour it on yourself, become invulnerable, essentially. Also, while we're at it, let's get some uh, Acceleratanium on me. Make sure this trip and this journey isn't about traveling, about finding the locations of the bosses. There we are, over the altar there, and to the tree. Wonderful. So, for the next boss that is on the pretty much the surface, and again, we've just got black holes for days because, yeah, I guess it's not about a journey. We just charge through. Ah, my face. You'll want to get down into the collapsed mines. There's two ways of getting to this boy. Going through the collapse mines where you just keep on heading. To the left. So the pyramid boss 
is a nice early get. You can, you know, kill it really early. Get some extra HP, get some an extra one, get some extra spells. Uh, the usefulness of those spells, uh, they can be really handy in certain situations, but... Enemies shouldn't attack me, by the way. I've picked up perks and I've got four more love perks, so that no enemy should attack me unless I hit them first. But if you just boop your way through here, which is hard, it's filled with water. You might want a torch. You'll probably want to drain all the water first. You might want to use a lot of explosives to try and get through here. It's not the preferred way, but if you do get through, you'll find yourself in the ancient laboratory. But there's um, a few problems, depending how early you get here. There's enemies in the way. And of course, you've got poly, you've got an amazing amount of liquids, and it's not always easy to traverse through. You can use the liquids, of course, to your own advantage, if you wish. But again, oftentimes you might be blocked. There is a bit of an easier way, in my opinion, to go. But yeah, the black holes weren't firing there because this has apparently now, I only found out uh, very recently, that this is, um, what's it called? It's humid. It's a humid environment because of the amount of water in there, I assume. Humid environment will slow down projectiles, so that's what's happening in there. That's why they're not going too fast. But we go back to the tree. At the start of the area. Hello. <laughs> Hello, little acid dude. We're at the start of the area, where we started the world. Now, you might need a little bit of assistance to climb a tree, whether it's a rocket. You can use fire bolts, anything that can indent the tree, usually a rocket. But with regular levitation, you'll be needing to put holes in the tree to get to this branch up here. And then you don't need any assistance with any extra levitation or putting the holes in the tree. This one to this one, easy. Easy peasy with your regular levitation. Just get across the tree and you'll see all your little tree achievements. Make some music. This some heesy down here as well but nothing that's nothing that's worse than what's down below you know you get all sorts of enemies down here but I wouldn't advise you know starting this to begin with he did a, a lightning bolt at me there are potions down here though this dude will replicate the shots you're shooting you see he's gonna do a bolt if you use a black hole at him you're gonna do it Maybe he isn't. I don't think he's going to... Normally, this guy, if you fire a regular black hole at him, he would replicate it, and then he would just shoot a load of black holes, potentially helping you, but... Uh, apparently, with an always cast... Because I've just given myself a load of good shit, you know? <laughs> Why not on a nice, explanational little run? However, if you come all the way over here, let's keep on digging. You can just go over the sand, the snow, but I prefer to dig. I nearly said sand. <laughs> Keep on going over until you find this, like, this little hint here, like a big hole. It's kind of telling you to go down, and you, you see some eyeballs. We're going to meet the second of today's little mini-bosses, eventually. You can always dig this as well, you know, even with spark bolts, it might take a little while, but you can do it. So today, for this boss, much the same, the first one you, you get given with the bombs on it you can just put a chainsaw on now where are we jesus i think we need to go up a little bit walk back i think we went a bit too far ah we are there so you'll find the abandoned alchemy lab the other side of it and you'll find this little son of a bitch you might have other enemies you might want to deal with first because these guys can launch the barrages at you as well this guy has a shield you see, and that will reflect back at you your own shots, and that hurts. And that hurts a lot. However, you can drop a bolt quite effective against this dude. If you can get drop a bolt on this man, but while he's got the shield up, you can't. You can chainsaw it, and it's really, really effective to do so with your starter wand. You see that easy? You don't really need anything more than that. So why would you? I know you could do, but and he didn't really attack me that much. Even though I've got good, um, you know, repulsion, immunities, you didn't see him actually do any attacks. He doesn't have a melee attack. This key is for a nice little secret in the game we're not going to get to. You may or may not know, but it's, you know. It's all good. I'll see you later. So we get some good spells as well. You get a random Greek spell. These are really important to unlock on long runs. Especially something like Gamma. Where, or Alpha. 
that casts a copy of the last or first spell in your wand, if it's alpha anyway, if the first gamma for the last. But if you've got, say, black holes and you've run out, you put, say, a black hole at the start or at the end, and you've got gamma or alpha, even if it's run out, it will still allow you to use black holes, so it's incredible. That's another one that bites the dust and can be done, again, very early in the game. As long as you're willing to accept death if a random errant shot hits you in the face. You've just got to be able to, you know, be aggressive enough that you don't let them get shots off. However, he will do a multitude of different types of attacks. He will do lightning, explosives, you know, he will do, you know, the pinpoint shot? It's kind of like a beam of light that you can't be immune to because it's projectile damage. Well, so we're just going to travel down now. All the way down. Never stop, never give in. Yep, yep, keep going. Doesn't matter, just go. Until we realise we've got to go over this way. Ah, my face. And as long as you've got some water. No, Scully. Ah, Scully. Oh, no. Scully. Oh, it's a forgery. Ah, that wasn't a real Scully. But the lava lake. Oh, no, it's insurmountable until you realise you can just put some water down and make a bridge. You come over it. Now, you don't have to trigger this dude. I'm going to make some very nice, you know, defensive structures, shall we say. I, I would advise Ambrosia on this one. I might drink all this water. I can't. You can't drink the water. I could... I explode it in any way. I'm wondering if I could... Try and get a uh, Giga Disc Projectile. I don't have any homing, right? And if I wanted Damage Field, there is a relatively simple way of trying to get this dude down. He His wands he produces, the Pit Boss. What I'm going to do, I'm going to... Oh, no, that's wrong. That's Accelerotanium, but I'm going to put a load of Ambrosia down here. Just so I can sit in there if I need to. But you can jump onto this like that. And you should be fine. It shouldn't have activated the boss. As long as you jump on without going too high. That should be fine. And you can just go and we do it every day on a run, you know? But if you jump into this square, right there, around about here, that will activate the boss. And now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put an Omega Saw Blade on my black hole. Like, if you have a black hole that could reach the boss, like, normally you'd need an increased lifetime or a way of making the black hole shoot faster. A projectile repulsion field, like using the gamma on black holes to make a lot of them. But you'll see what happens here. Hopefully, it'll work. We'll get some ambrosia on. Hopefully, it'll last. Are you going to produce? Oh, we're blind. But can I see? I don't think he's dead. Oh, he did die. We didn't see it. What happened there? Because my black hole hit him with the saw blade, and luckily I was ambrosiaed, the ones he created to fire at me made Omega saw blades. So the real trick for this boss fight is to shoot and you have to do damage with it, I think. He can't fight... Say I hit him with a black hole, because it's not actually hitting him because it's not a projectile. It's not going to shoot black holes at you. But because I hit him with the saw blade, with the black hole going through him to make the saw blade travel through him, so if I shot him with a trigger, with a saw blade, he's likely, from the ones he creates, he's going to shoot you back with a spark bolt, because the Omega saw blade is going to come back to you straight away without having touched him. You see what I mean? So you've got to find a way of hitting him with something that will damage him. That will rotate back into him. You've got to think outside. You can't, say, think with modifiers. Because I don't think the ones he shoots at you will have any modifiers on it. It will just be the plain spell. I've heard damage field is very good for this fight as well. But you might also want to try plasma beam and stuff like that. Uh, but again, the real trick to this fight, you saw Ambrosia and Sawblades make him kill himself. And you get 
two wants from this, so... I believe we can get rid of Chainsaw now. Not a great wand. I will keep the damage field. But we get two very interesting one, uh, very interesting spells. The Mata Sword it. Which I'll do over here, just because it's... It deletes terrain, but then we get a load of boys, and the boys are back in town. And they don't give you hearts, unfortunately. However, I believe you might be able to go, go, might still be able to go off screen, come back to where the worms are. Eventually. Like, if you go outside of what is known as their area of influence, like, because of the way the game generates, if you go outside of the area of influence, the worms will kind of be stuck in place. And if you come back, you might be able to get worms. So, if you revisit some worms after doing this for after a while, hey, you might get HP. I can't guarantee it for you, though. I think we go down. Because this fight is incredibly hard, and you're going to need to almost become sort of intuitive with it of... Even if you get blinded, you've got to trust that you know where your Ambrosia is. You probably do need defensive holes, you know? And places where Ambrosia already is just to protect yourself, because it's poly shots. We didn't get to see the full gamut of shots then. But if you faced it a few times before, you know what it's capable of doing. And hopefully the tips I've just given you with making him kill himself is the absolute trick there. And, you know, you might even want to use giga disc projectiles and do it slower over a period of time while using the defense more that's a very quick way of doing it you know but again we've just got our travel wand here which we're just going to go downtown because you know it pleases me greatly just to you know travel with impunity where are we in the grand scheme of things almost we're going to the next boss and of course We'll eventually bump into a biome if we keep on hunting that. Ah, perfect. We're in the underground jungle where the air is ionized. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, for this boy, and you can see we've got a lot of HP. It's more, and we've got the most of the perks, you know. We've got some stainless, we've got some... Oh, we went a bit too far down. Okay. Ow. But you come to this rock here on the right-hand side of the jungle... Again, you can't really use spark bolts to get through here, either. Not even heavy spark bolts, even though that's not working, because they're the wrong way around. Cool, cool. It's fine, don't worry about it. Yep, not even heavy will get through that. Hold on, it might do eventually. I'm not, I don't, damn. No, I think it's just charring it. But you'll want to use explosives. You know, just like that, that's fine. And you come across this egg, you want to open up that egg. Well, you want to crack it open like an egg, I suppose. This is just a case of doing a certain amount of damage in as little amount of time possible. Probably not as severe as using all the uh, saw blades. We've got some spectators, they want to come and watch. But we wanted to open up the egg, which we've done. That'll activate. Once we jump in the egg now, we'll start a nice little fight. This dude, if you go in his jaws, has a melee attack. You'll see him open up his jaw as well. He has projectile damage, explosive damage, fire damage. He's a cunt. He's doing projectiles from his back, you know? Not the most damaging. You see that block there when he tried to bite me? However, if you can find a fast-firing wand or highly damaging wand, he's not that tricky. You know, you only need to do a certain amount of damage. It's best to do that damage. Like with all bosses, the faster you can kill them, the better you're going to have a time of this experience. But he can be killed really quickly. And by this time, you might not have the HP. It depends if you're comfortable, because if you're not comfortable that you can kill him quick, and you don't have, say, explosion or melee immunity, you probably want to give it a skip, because things can go wrong. You can also freeze this dude and kick him. You know, like, freeze him with a well, I don't have anything for freeze. But if I put a freeze modifier on here, like took these two off, say I just had a spark bolt. If I had the freeze charge before this, froze him, and then kicked him, got out of the way of his jaws, and then kicked his body, it's an instant, instant kill, so that's always fabulous to do. 
can be a bit tricky though. Kicking can be a bit finicky now and again, but uh, there you go. Should be able to trust in it. But again, it's just pure damage output is what you want. Watching out for his mouth and ass, you know. What the fuck is going on? Why am I black hole? Ah, oh, heavy shot. That makes a lot of sense. Anyway, let's get down. We don't need to worry about holy mountains. We don't need to worry about anybody in the way, I'm sure. Nobody cares about our presence here. Uko, how you doing, brother? Good to see you. I do love treating the game like this. <laughs> Is Polly following me? Oh, what's that? No, it wasn't Polly. It was the black hole trail being pink. So, again, being on the right-hand side, the bosses have a bit of a fixation on that, you know? A bit of a fixation on being on the right-hand side. Hmm. Yeah, the wall mountings, even though the enemies aren't, aren't attacking me. Ah, I remember what I need to give myself. Spells. Um, where's my egg? Egg? Pebble? Is it projectile egg? Projectile... Mm. Summon hollow egg. There we are. Any type of egg will do. Any type of egg. Whether it's egg from your inventory, the other type of egg which spawns friendly creatures from your wand, or the hollow egg even. Now there is a simple way of killing these and there's more of a tough way. What you do is, you get some eggs. Where are my eggs now? I don't want to uh, black hole this prematurely. All you do is throw three eggs at them, and then you get this. You see that? Nicely demonstrated there, my friend. Hold on, it's not doing it to everybody, just that dude. But these dudes, they're pretty docile. <laughs> they often let you get out of the way, for some reason. There's four pe four pieces. Some of them ha just some of them just float off and do what the fuck they want. Really weird. They're not gonna help you kill all the enemies. However, that you know that red, it's you can actually go through them. They're not solid objects, you know. Let's try an explosive. Ah, it seems somewhat effective. Damage field, any chance? Well, why don't we just go back to what we've done before? You know, a good old high rate of fire damage. Well, the pushback is insane, but... Well, they're chunky. You might be stood here for a little while. That's not too bad. It's unlikely, though, you're going to have this perfect setup, right? So you can drain them down. However, what happens if you use something like a plasma beam on a trigger? And a lot of them at that. That seems to be a bit better. It's, it kind of holds them in position, it's weird. Also, it doesn't seem to hurt them all that much when it gets through them. Bit weird, that. I don't mind hurting myself, we're, we're cool. But then sometimes it does hurt them. But then that one goes down quite nicely. Oh, uh, when it travels through the actual center of it, it seems a bit finicky, that, doesn't it? But this is obviously an extreme example that I'm able to pull out here. But sometimes it's gonna work. Sometimes a plasma beam is gonna, you know. However, I'll show you on the last one what you can do. Although, if you're looking for a progress bar, this will kill them. Hmm, I seem to. Yeah, get a black hole for them and it'll kill them. You can also do the same with a luminous drill. Get a luminous drill to them with an increased timer. If you can fire out a luminous drill at distance, hey, you're fine. What we're going to do now, give ourselves perk, where's me all, C&I? You know, God damn it, everything is everywhere. All, you know. So I can see everything now, which is wonderful, and everything's everywhere. 
Now we come to one of the last mini bosses. We're going to charge, as we all want to do, through the wizard's den. So this door, mini boss, is hiding another place that's a mini boss. Of course, you will not be able to get through here as easily as I am. Again, I have four more love perks, so regular enemies just start shooting me. There's no chance they're going to hurt me unless I attack them first. But you see this wizard's den? Firstly, you'll want to find Uko. <laughs> Secondly, you'll want to find... You just want to keep on going down, you know? You'll find Cursed Rock. That means you probably want to not go in that direction. <laughs> and just carry on kind of following the path either down or to the right. Keep on going. As long as you're heading down, you're probably going in the right direction. There's a lot to grab here at the same time, so... Oh, that's a cami. Oh, nice. We could heal if we really wanted to. Because I couldn't just do this. And this is the great thing about Cheat GUI. Full heal, baby. The great thing about Cheat GUI is it allows you practice, you know? It's essentially practice session. You can die. Of course can die. It's not in vulnerability mode. I've just given myself a lot of stuff that would have taken hours otherwise. I really do recommend the mods for that, you know? If you need the practice, hey, it's not cheating, you know? It's just, if you've seen the boss before, you know? Not everything has to be in perfect conditions, you know, that you've earned the conditions every time, you know? It's ridiculous. Just get some practice in. So when you do put the effort in and time, this is the orb room. Now, this tricked me once before. No. Ah. This tricked me. I thought the fight took place here, but it doesn't. Now, there is a simple truth to this boss fight, where we're going in a sec. This dude is a cunt. However, that's Polly. I need to go around. Luckily, regular enemies won't attack me. I'm going to set up... He's here, by the way, you can see. You just travel up. And I used the... orb room to know where I was but this dude is annoying he will teleport you around he will essentially make you or you know all the mages and all their different attacks he can do whatever he wants here however those red orbs if you hit them they will hurt you but they will reflect your shot back to you you're looking to destroy the blue the blue orbs so I'm just gonna fire out these lasers, right? The This laser, if that little white dot hits the red orb, it reflects the damage back to you. But the actual plasma coming out, that's fine. Where's he gone? What? Hey, there you are, man. He doesn't want to fight. <sighs> oh, I don't, I don't have Ambrosia on me. Oh, boomerang at the moment. That's fine, as long as I can, you know. I can't really black hole him. So, using something like a plasma beam is very advisable because there's parts of that actual... The plasma beam will do damage. You know? Ah, oh, it's teleport shit. Nah. But again, you probably want to clear out the area first. Hmm. Holy dudes there are annoying. To be fair, everybody around here is annoying, so... Oh, one of his orbs is already destroyed, because, you know... You see this, though? Again, if I lose my Ambrosian, I might take bad damage. But it has to be, again, I can hurt him. If I actually shoot the plasma beams there... Where the white... Mm, yeah, I could walk into it. I'm trying to show people something. Yeah, the white orb there is safe. His orbs aren't going to touch it, so I'm safe. However, if he walks into it... The problem is here, I've got pushback on my wand, which is really annoying, so I want to kind of bait him... Well, not bait him, but... Shoot him from probably distance, where I know my Ambrosia won't come off. Also, I'm going to get some Berserk on myself. Yeah, he can shoot different things at me. That's not a problem. That's actually perfect. If I could do that... Safety first. But he's, ne he's nearly got no orbs left. 
I mm. again, it's going to be really hard to independently shoot those blue orbs, purple orbs, instead of the red orbs, right? So you've got to find some way of doing it. This is the only way I've really found with great success. He fell over. Luckily, I'm on a tiny bit of terrain now. That's very nice. He has all sorts of different shots, this dude. However, I can actually... If I hit his orb... If I hit his red orb with my shot, it actually stops the beam, you know? It actually triggers my trigger, which is awesome. As, lo as long as I'm ambrosial at the point. That's what it seems like, anyway. need to be delicate. He's down. He can now be hurt. Once his, all his blue orbs are gone, that's a poly shot as well. He's done something to me. He's teleported me and he's boomeranged me. You can tell by the modifiers on the uh, other side, but these dudes, again, they're pacified only because I've taken action to have them pacified. I could... As long as I've got... The problem is... The whole problem with saw blades. I'd probably rather use Giga. As long as I'm ambrosied up, and use Giga saw blades. Actually, this is on a uh, black hole, isn't it? Alright, the Giga saw blades aren't as effective. Oh, it might be because it's hitting the red orb. A bit weird, that, isn't it? Let's damage modify instead. Not the face! So you see, not an easy one at all. I don't know if you can actually destroy the red orbs. Ow. Oh. We're running out of Ambrosia, which is a problem. You see his face change? Now you can try and shoot between the red shots, which you see me doing here without the Ambrosia. You can get into a nice flow, of course, although you will pay the price if you miss. There we go. The saws actually came and did something there. Ah, oh, my face. Money, spells. Yeah, not the strongest spells, random, random spells, essentially. You do get... Where's my book? Why are these shots continuing? Forever. <laughs> it doesn't even need me to die. Yeah, you get a little note. You know, you get a little note. I'm not gonna, you know, spoil that. There is a shortcut, by the way. If you don't want to come all the way through here, but you have a lot of traveling support. Yeah, let's get this off. Have a lot of traveling support. Uko, my best buddies. Praise the Uko. Praise the 5,000 subs on YouTube. Uko thanks you greatly. You know, I know he's been watching over us. Yeah, you just there's no cursed rock here. So what you do, we'll probably bump into cursed rock very shortly. Yeah, there we are. What you do is you follow the cursed rock all the way around. It goes up here. So if you do get right, if you've got a gamma or alpha from the alchemy boss, you know at the very start on the left, over the tree. If you've got you can you can easily build a one like this. I just happen to have a lot of levitation and movement speed just to make the video a bit more fluid, you know? But these type of ones, if you're committed to boss fighting, so you don't need to put yourself in danger. All you need to do is get to that orb location. That's why, you know, I referenced it before. It's important because that's where this shortcut leads to, essentially. So you don't have to fight your way here. Of course, you could be a little less sloppy than me at the moment, but... That's the entire point. You're going to take your time. I'm going to show you rough little bits of good info. But that new boss... I think the key we've learned today is chainsaws and ambrosia and the saws, you know. But just dig your way around. The cursed rock isn't everywhere. Even if you've got luminous drills, you could do this. It'll take a lot longer, though. To be fair, I think you've got my point. You know, just run over the top. 
It's a lot quicker than digging. Just a lot quicker. Yeah, you see, if I was to do this now, enter the laboratory, find your way back here, and you can even dig your way to the boss fight quickly. I'm gonna throw the bucket. Hmm. Are we gonna have a light show? I'm not sure the heavies work on the lights. Let's see if the light changes. No! That's gonna come back in a harsh and unpredictable way. There you go. Ah! You can actually, you know, with the gigasaws, sorry, the Omega saw blades, you can kind of, oh dear me, it's all leaking. What I'm going to need to do, I'm going to need to destroy it. Ah, the saw blades are on there still. <laughs> They're everywhere. They're not behaving. I'm going to need to clear the, yeah, just get the lava down, fuck it, let's go. No need for it. No need for it whatsoever. And this is obviously the final boss. Oh no, it collapsed. What a calamity. Um, yes, and eventually it'll run out, and eventually, you know, the best of times. <laughs> Fuck it. I think we're cool. I think we're cool. I know we're cool. Let's see if this just... Uh... Ah, they don't seem to be heavier shots, but he's going to be fine. These do great work. And this is the boss which, obviously, the more orbs you have, the more resistances it will have. You always want to be prepared and kind of understand and start to learn the ramifications of what taking extra orbs does to the boss fight. When you take between, you know, when you take the first or second orb, it gets a reflecting shield. When it's got no orbs, it only has a very basic shield. And then it starts to get explosion resistances, melee resistances, all sorts of shenanigans. You won't be able to freeze it and kick it after a certain amount as well. But here's to 5,000 beautiful followers, my good friends. Thank you so much for everybody who's enjoyed the content up until this point and for the future. I forgot to throw the bucket in. We've got to die in the most obviously and classic way. A heavy Omega Saw Blade. Because the game has refused to kill me. You yeah, one more chance? Really? Can I get more? Oh, there we go! I did give myself a lot of extra lives just for this demonstration, of course. Ah, uh, but you see, because it's so big and clumsy, you can get away with it, even if you're surrounded, you know, you can get away from that. It's not a problem. Well, I mean, it is, but it's not, it's not the worst problem. You might take a tickle of damage. But once you're out of the way, you know, it's easy to circle it, essentially. And any enemy around you, well, they get to pay the price instead, don't they? <laughs> nice little sword dance for us all. Saving grace, save me? I'm not surprised. How many extra lives did I give myself? God damn. I only pressed it a few times. Ah. But thank you for watching. Hope you learned something about some of the bosses today. If you have any questions, we're always available in the comment section and at twitch.tv forward slash let's suffer together where we put out daily content live interactive good content y'all once again thank you for helping us grow as a channel helping us you know just by being here and spending time here for all the comments the likes you know the subscriptions and just being a part of this wonderful and great community we've got here at the roguelite renegades and there you go it's from the bottom of my heart thank you guys it's been a wild journey so far, and yeah, we're going to continue in a committed and wonderful way. But again, any questions about the boss fight specifically, you know, we're always here for you. Anything about the game, let us know. But until next time, my friends, take care, take it easy.
I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one, guys.